This school in Harbeck was made in Germany sometime between the 1870s and 1890s. There are no serial number records for these machines, so they can't be dated precisely. Most are badged as National Express or Original Express machines, though many, like this one, come with no name. It appears these machines were originally hand-painted, so during restoration, rather than using decals, the artwork was recreated with real, 24 karat gold leaf applied directly to the machine by hand. There's a bit of a contradiction with these machines. The large number of internet images, their ready availability, and the fact that there are commercially made decal sets for them suggest there are many in circulation. Yet for such a common machine, there's very little information on either them or the company that made them. Threading is simplicity itself. Bring the thread over through the tensioner. It's not necessary to wrap it around the shaft. Over to this thread guide, up to the hole in the top of the needle bar, down between these two leaf spring thread guides, and then down to the needle, threading it from left to right. One nice feature about this particular machine is that it still has its hemispherical spool weight, which prevents the spool from over-rotating when the needle bar jerks the thread. Not only are these machines elegantly beautiful, they run smoothly and produce a great stitch. Thanks for watching. My next project is restoring the silverback decals on a 1920s Eldridge B sewing machine. I hope you'll come back and see how it turns out.